What is up, Neophytes? My name is Alan, aka Neo Crypto. Welcome back to some more Bedrock, guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you are having a fantastic old day. Fantastico. Because I'm having a fantastic old day. For the most part. I had a little bit of flub. A little bit. A little bit of a flub. It was uh, it was a technical malfunction. Technical malfunction, you see. That's exactly what it was. Uh, I was... I thought I, I've already recorded this intro. And I really didn't. Which is, sucks because we did like... We made like a diamond pick, guys. Because I mined our first diamonds and whatnot of the world. And I thought I had it on camera. And I didn't. I feel bad. I feel horrible. It, it's stupendously bad and wrong and evil and stuff. And I apologize. Please forgive me. Uh, I, I just bowed my head in shame. I'm done. I'm done. I, I, I'm a horrible YouTuber. I'm just quitting. I'm exiting right now. <laughs> so bad. So, so bad. So bad. Yeah. Well, now that my walk of shame is over with, guys, I guess we can remake the diamond pick because I moved the server to a realm and apparently I mined the diamonds in the realm already, but I had not made the pick. So there's our diamond pickaxe. We have a diamond pickaxe, so that is awesome sauce. We are styling. I've got a little bit of organization done, so that is always good, right? Um, so what do I have planned today? Well, it's quite elementary, my dear YouTube viewer. Yeah, where do I put this stuff? I mean, it's not. Yeah, we'll put it. Yeah, okay, okay. We'll put we'll put it over here. Quite elementary, my dear viewer. Today, since we now have a diamond pickaxe, we need to make a quick little trip into ye old Nether to get some Nether quartz because I'd like to make some automatic farms. Get those going today, like you know, like a chicken cooker and some basic things. Basic things, really. So we're gonna run down here into the strip mine, which you got since you guys didn't get to see. It. Oh my god, it's a naked sheep. That's that's just not right. We're gonna run down into the strip mine, find a little bit of the old cold hot sauce, aka some obsidian. Make another portal, dip on in. But man, I have done some mining down here. I've got a lot, uh, kind of a long hallway. Mate. I I think I need to raise the roof up up on here because I feel like that's hindering my ability to go down. <sighs> So many things to do when you start out a new world, but yeah, so as you can see, I I have a very long hallway dug, but there is a bit of obsidian right here and some more lava juice. So we should be able to get the lava juice to turn into some more not so hot sauce and yeah, get some more obsidian flowing. So that is what we are going to do. We're going to go do, do that. And then I am going to say, let's dig a hole right there. Drop it, he dropped that. And we're going to get this obsidian. We're going to make a portal. And uh, yeah, let's do some automatic farms. Maybe a little bit more work around the base because we have a lot of things that we need to get done. Oh my goodness, I just can't even talk so much. I just, there's just too many things. Since it's a new world, it is horrendously horrible that we have so much to do in so little time. Wait, maybe we don't have too little time. Maybe it's we have too much time. It's too little to do. Maybe it's just right. I just don't even know. Anyway, I, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to be pounding away on this obsidian for a couple minutes. Oh, by the way, I'm thinking about if I can get to play nice. If I can get to play nice, because it's right now it's, it, it's not playing nice. Uh, but I'm thinking about... Let's grab that before something bad happens. Uh, doing a modded series on the Java edition. And I'm looking at like one of two packs. Uh, one of them is called Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons. The other one's called MC Eternal. Both of them have some really cool things. Uh, they share a few mods like uh, Electro Bob's Wizardry is one I've always kind of wanted to mess with and never have got a chance to. Uh, but both of those packs are a little bit wonky on my machine. Like I can do, I, I can play, I can play uh, the, uh, oh, oh, give me that. I, I can play the roguelike adventure dun adventures and dungeons pack or rad whatever you want to call it and uh but i get the like wavy wacky inflatable arm tube or tube man arm thing going on um and so do the animals it's kind of weird it's like a weird weird glitch uh I, I, here i'll throw a clip up because i i actually started to record some of it earlier today and then i was like well this is awkward uh, and then the other one, I just, I don't know, it locks up, it freezes on my system. I, I think I really need to 
start looking into getting a better CPU. But uh, if I can get one of those two packs working right, we're going to do some modded uh, and while we wait on 1.16 to drop, which could be like another month or two. There's 10 pieces. That's enough. That's enough. We can hit, we can go to the nether with that. All right, let me figure out a place to put this nether portal and I will bring you guys back. All right, guys, I think we are ready to dip into the nether and then see if we can get a little bit of nether quartz. Just take a quick, quick peek around. We're not going to stay and spend any time there. Uh, I have built a little area for our nether portal. As you can see, I am not done with it. I still got more plants, but it's coming. It, it's getting there. It's getting there. And I made the uh, nether portal extra big. Boom. There we go. Now. Let's see what looks in the darkest, deepest parts of hell, shall we? <laughs> All right, and we're here. The world has generated. Oh, we're right by Nether Quartz, too. That's brilliant. Ow! Magma block, why? Oh, I'll be taking that, yoink. Because, you know, magma blocks are handy. At least, I think this is Nether Quartz. It looks, I feel like it looks a little different uh, than it normally does with the John Smith pack on no, maybe might be my imagination might not be don't know let's get just a little bit of this stuff because you know it's, it's useful very useful I mean we, we expect great things from it right now quit that there we go oh the pain is real how much did we get 20 and 14 we could use a bit more. Hey, there's our friendly neighborhood pig man patrol coming to... Oh, magma cube! Magma cube! How do you do? Why didn't you split? Woo. Hi, guys. Oh, God. Give me that lovely magma cream. Ow! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, guys! You're mean, mean! I don't like you. Uh. Okay, I got him. <laughs> Dang! That was actually a little bit on the painful side, not gonna lie. Did not expect that of him. But then again, I am just wearing iron, so that's one of the reasons we are not gonna hang out too long. I mean, we don't need a lot of this at the moment so i think i'm just gonna grab this and then we're gonna bail and then there's one other thing yeah 23 should do me 23 should do me for the moment at least i hope if, if not there's you know a bit more we can just dip back through here and grab it but you know i should grab this little bit right here too on the way out uh but yeah i saw when i was lighting up the area i uh managed to see a village off in the distance i think we should head over there and check that out before we make our farms just because I'm curious, man. It's a village. It's a village. I'd almost forgot about it. And I just remember it's like, oh, yeah, that village. We need to go inspect, you know. Yeah, because, you know, being a building inspector is important. We got to make sure the test certificates wares are up to code and their, their, their buildings are up to code. And hi, horse. How you doing? Huh, I guess there's a benefit to leaving that gate open, huh? All right, so let's go put our quartz away, and then we were we are going to jump over there, and I'll show you guys where it's at. Got pretty, pretty excited. You know what? This stuff is kind of valuable, except for the nether rack. So let's let's dump that all in there, and we'll put the nether rack out here because I probably have use for that too. Uh, let's grab another axe while we're at it. Take with this, and do I have another shovel? No, but I mean we don't we we don't really need it, do we? All right, so. Let's go for a little exploration. It's on the other side of this big hill, ironically. So if this is a place that we end up going a lot, we could, we might very well just tunnel all the way, all the way through to the other side. Cause uh, yeah, actually we might end up doing that anyway to make life easier for when we uh, get around to doing like a, a village trader type of situation, you know? So let's get up this hill. There we go. See if I can see if we can spy it again. Which way was it? It was over here somewhere. I remember just barely seeing it. It was over. Maybe it was. Maybe it was this way. I don't know. But I remember. But I totally saw one. I may not. You know. I. I may. I'm not totally losing my mind. I'm sure I saw one. What is that over there? See that? I wonder what that is. 
Hmm. Whoa. Okay, that's some chunks not loading in properly is what that is right there. Huh. Where was that village? I know I saw it. Not going insane, am I? I may be going insane. It could be a thing going insane, but pretty sure I saw it. Maybe it was this side. Ooh. Okay, it's not a ravine. It's like a ravine, but it's a baby ravine. <laughs> we didn't make it out. See, it's a good thing that wasn't a full ravine because otherwise, otherwise that could have been an issue. And lots of skellies, so that's fine. Everything's fine. I told you, I was not crazy. I knew I saw one. I, I, I just, I knew I did. Mm -hmm. I'm right by a swamp too. Handy that, right? Okay, let's, okay, now, all right, we, we can, okay, yeah, we got this. We got this, we're good, we're good. Oh man, uh, hopefully they have a spare bed around because uh, it's getting a little dark. A little bit on the dark side here. Dark side something something fully operational. Alright, let's get over here. Hello, is there anyone to home? I, I'm sorry, but I have to borrow your bed. You don't have a bed in there. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, Hello? Man, this place seems kind of devoid of test certificates, don't it? Let's go ahead and just sleep. And then we're going to break that and put it back. Because, you know, we're nice. We're nice. So let's go ahead and go whack. And put it back down so a test certificate can reclaim it. Because I, I know if we claim it, it's like, no, 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 we won't sleep in there. But so far, so far there's nothing here. This village seems... Completely abandoned. It's devoid of life. But where is everybody? I mean, I guess if there's no one here, I don't mind pillaging the place, you know? Because, uh, yeah. We could use some of this stuff. Be nice if we could find a map maker. But yeah, be nice if we can find a map maker. Oh, books. Looky, looky, bookies. Hmm. There's like absolutely no villagers here at all. What is going on here? What is these? Is that potato? Yeah, it's potato wheels. I don't have any potatoes. I mean, we might as well not even worry about it since there's no one that lives here apparently. Let's just start taking these stations and, uh, yeah, I guess we'll make our way back home. That was very anticlimactic. I can't believe there's like no one here. Hello. Ooh, look at the blast first. Ooh, yeah, I'll happily take that. And mossy cobble. Oh my. A little bit of mossy cobble. Is this like a zombie village or something? I mean, it has mossy cobble around it. So do like zombie villagers spawn here? I, mean, I know those exist, but... I thought they had like spider webs and super spooky stuff around them. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to grab this though. And then I'm going to head back and I, I'm just going to, uh, I guess make a quick cut here. Oh yes. Folks. Quick cut here. And, uh, I'll, if something exciting happens, I guess I'll bring you back, but this is not looking all that exciting. Hmm. Huh? Right. Yeah. So I have a small hiccup. I can't make dispensers. I need more string. So we're going to have to go out on a hunt, guys. We need a spitter. And uh, I have this area pretty well lit up. So we might have to travel just a fair little bit for a spitter. I mean, I've made a map, too. So we can start filling that in. Yeah, I did. You heard me, Mr. Merchant, dude. There's a creeper over there. Skelly. I guess I'm not lit up as well as I thought I was. So, I mean... Yeah, that's a thing. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's a witch. And a creeper. It's a Cree witch. Huh. Go away, creeper. Go away, creeper. <laughs> I want spitters, not not witches. But I mean, we can kill the witch, I guess, if we run into her again. Oh, man. Skelly bobs. We That's okay, though, because we could certainly use to have... Some, oh, 
Oh, I forgot. I totally forgot that was a thing. Yeah, that's right. Reflect, baby. Ah. Completely forgot about that being a thing. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, there's a Zombert. Seriously, where are the spitters? We need a... There's a spitter. We need a lot of string, actually, because I need to make a loom also. Oh, and there's some creppers. Hey, creeper. Explodey Bob. No exploding, Explodey Bob. Okay, we got this. See? There's that. Okay, we're doing good, except we're out of inventory space. What do we got we can toss? Cobble. Nobody likes... Oh, God, babies. Baby Zombert. Baby Zombert. We got the string, and that's the important part. Come here, baby Zombert. Oh, Zombiburderder. There's a Zombiburderder. Zombiburderder. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I actually don't even remember if I'm actually recording a vote. Boom! Ha ha ha! Zombie Leather stuffs. Ender peoples. Uh, what else do we got that we can drop? I mean, I got. I guess I can drop a tree, and we can drop an apple. Cause let's see what we got here. We got blast protection. Where was that a minute ago? Am I right? Okay. Uh, we need way more string, guys. Maybe I should go back to my base real quick and uh, <laughs> drop off some stuff so we can actually hunt properly. I mean, could be useful. Not gonna lie. <gasps> spitter! Spitter! Come here, Spitter! Come here, Spitter! That's right, bud. Ow. No string for me. <laughs> this is going well, don't you think? I think this is going well. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go drop some stuff off and uh, make sure I'm actually recording. Well, guys, I've been out exploring a little bit. I managed to come across three strings so far. Well, so far, so far, but I see a jungle tree. I'm, at least I think it's a jungle tree. And if there's a jungle tree, maybe we can find a little bit of bamboo so we can start working on getting some scaffolding going. That would be pretty epic if uh, that's the thing. I also found an ocean. So yeah, we could grab some kelp and stuff too, make an auto kelp farm. I'm gonna take a little bit of that if you don't mind. But really, really, really wanting some bamboo right about now. Cause you know, bamboo is awesome. Yep. Hopefully we can find some. It's getting dark though, and I do not have a bed on me. I should really start carrying a bed on me when I'm doing some adventuring. Um, maybe we should try and head back home. Uh, that may be a good idea. And then we'll come back here. Yep, I think that's what we're going to I think that's going to be the plan. Uh, I'll come back here later. I will actually bring you guys back when I finally have enough string, hopefully on the journey home tonight. We can run across some more spitters and uh, I can get some more string and have enough to finish just a uh, bamboo bamboo right there bamboo alert ladies and gentlemen boys and girls do not fear for bamboo is here oh yeah 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 ah uh, it's the simple things in life that you know really get one excited isn't it come on why am I doing that when I had an axe on me I, I just don't even know don't even know. Let me, let's see. Hey, can we get some seeds real quick? Because might as well tame a parrot since it's right here. And, you know, we're not in too big of a hurry because we do need more. We do need more. Uh, Ooh, seeds. Perfect. Thought I could use some more. Uh, we do definitely need more string. I mean, you know, we can just hang out here because why not? Hey, let's see. Can we tame you? Polly? Do? Oh, look at that. Polly likes this. And I see spiders. Yep, come on, Polly. Let's grab those spiders. Let's see if they drop string and we can get on with this thing. Woo! You did. Where'd the other one go? There was two. Polly, there, where, where's the other one? I guess you're Polly. I don't know what else to name you. I know for a fact I saw two spitters over here. There's a skelly bob. Oh, there's the other spitter. It's playing with the creeper. 
And it, man, the spider is a creeper critter crawler. This is, this is not fun. I know, Polly, we need to run. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head back to base because I think we have enough string. All right, guys. Let's get an automatic chicken cooker going because honestly, with everything that we've done, I think we're just about out of time. So we'll at least get one farm made today, right? So I went ahead and lit, put down some stuff. We're gonna use a barrel uh, because I mean, why, why wouldn't we? Barrels are cool, right? Uh, and you know, as we can see here, I've got barrel, I've got hopper going into the barrel, I've got a slab on top of that, just random block and um, a dispenser here for eggs. So what we need to do now is, you know, just kind of enclose the area that our babies are gonna be in. And yeah, I am using uh, some white stained glass for this, cause why not? Looks interesting. I might change that out because I don't know, with this texture pack, maybe the stained glass does not look the greatest. So, but I'm gonna need some more space to get in there for the moment. So the, these things are like incredibly simple. I'm sure everyone knows how to make a chicken cooker, but in case you don't, uh, the design I like to use is pretty tiny. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's like a three by four block area. So, you know, it, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty compact. So let's just go ahead and do this and get rid of that so I can get in here. And then I need to place, we need to place an observer. We need to dig down one block just so we get this facing the right way because we're going to place an observer theoretically, hopefully, possibly facing up. Yes, perfect. Okay, so then all we need to do, wait, is that facing up? Yes, it is. Okay. The observers look weird in this pack. Uh, that is the eyeball that is looking for things. Next, we need to place a comparator coming out of this hopper. I mean, out of this hopper. Thank you. Thank you. And then we need to place a bit of redstone right here. Oh, yeah. You know, and I totally forgot. We need to put a bucket of lava in there. Let's see if I can sneak it in this hole without burning myself. Maybe. Ah, nope, no, nope, no, nope, definitely not. Definitely not. That's, oh, oh my. Oh dear. Oh, we're burning. We're burning. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it is what it is. So let's just hop up here and do it. Cause uh, we need, we need some lava right there, right there. All right, so we're doing good. Let's just get this and not break the glass because that would be excessively, excessively a bad, mucho muy bad. Uh, now we need to just put some blocks up here because our chickens are going to be, let's do that. And, uh, whoops, do that and that. And now we need, oh gosh, darn it, Bobby. Wow, why? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, and we'll put a temporary block there. And then we need to grab some more stained glass and put the glass right there. Now, that should be good. And now we can remove these so I can like properly decorate this later. Except I did not mean to do that. When that one needs to stay there. Which, wait, not, not there. There, ha ha ha. Let's go ahead and get that. And let's get our out of here because we're pretty much done. Although I do need to get back up there now that I think about it because I need chickens in the hole, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, I have a few eggs, so hopefully it's gonna be enough. Let's go ahead and get this, get some chickens in here and then I will explain how this works. Uh, so we have eight eggs there. We have a stack and a half of eggs. All right, so let's go. Uh-oh, oh no. Come on. Oh, there's one. Give me two. Yeah. Can we have three? No. That's no good. No bueno. I didn't think they'd be able to get out of there. My bad. Ah, this is horrible. But you know what? We're not going to show. We're, we're going to totally not show this fail. No. Totally would not do that, right? I mean, 
No, it's for the YouTube. No, I'm kidding. I am going to leave this in here. It's not like I it would ever, ever edit out what I screw up. Ah. Uh, okay, so we need some seeds. Uh, luckily, I know a guy that has some seeds. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I just did that. Come on, come on guys. Let's just do this. Excuse me, horse. I have some baby chick chicks to <clears throat> corral. Where'd they go? Oh, no. Hi, there's you. Where's your friend? Where'd your friend go? Uh, come on. I don't want to have to use Howard. Zombie Ent, our residential, uh, a residential expert on undead trees, suggests that we name the, uh, the, the chicken Howard the Duck. I, I like the name. I'm going to modify it, though, just ever so slightly. We're going to call him Howard the Cluck. I mean, it's original, isn't it? You know? Come on, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Over here. Come on. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Come on, guys. Over here. Up. Oh. Come on. Uh, this is... This is great, guys. Honestly. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I got the seeds. I got the seed that you need. So follow me. Follow me, my... Fine feathered fowl friends. Come on. There we go. In the hole. In the hole. There we go. We have we have chickens in the hole. I feel like I need to get a trapdoor on that. <laughs> that was that was that was uh, that was an ordeal. Totally, oh boy. Um, man, I am doing wonderful today, guys. <laughs> All right, so let me let me explain to you how this works, in case you don't know. So we have we have some chickens up there, which we're gonna have to definitely breed up. We're gonna have to let them grow up before we can breed them up. But, you know, for right now, it, it's all good. It's all good. So we have some chickens up there. Every time they lay eggs, it will go into this hopper here which we can break that block it'll go into this hopper here this comparator will register oh there's something in here and then the observer will register the comparator turning on for a brief instant which will power this redstone down here which will power this block at which will power the dispenser to shoot the egg out and then as the as we get babies because as you saw not every egg is going to be a baby but as we get babies the babies can stand there without dying but as soon as they grow up, they get cooked, which the hopper grabs it and puts it in that barrel. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's all there is to that. So we at least got that set up. I am going to have to breed these guys up, but I'm going to have to wait for them to grow up to breed them. Uh, so, yeah, that's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and just since we're not since I can't seal this up yet, put a couple torches there. And I guess I'm going to have to AFK for a while until these guys are uh, adults so I can breed them. And then I'm gonna have to think just think about this. Because I really don't like the uh the way the glass looks. Not gonna lie. I might have I might change our texture pack. I've been trying I, I just subscribed to Realm Sky, so I uploaded this to a realm. Um so I might try some of the texture packs that come with the realms, like Chroma Hills HD, uh, which is kind of a cartoony pack. We might take a look at that in the next episode, see if we like it. Uh, see, you know, if how it looks, then uh, get your guys' opinion on it if we're going to use that or not. But also, yeah, that's um, I haven't got any feedback on the shaders. Tell me what you think about the shaders because uh, I, I kind of dig it, I really do. They're not as good as the shaders on Java, like I said, but they'll do. But at least we got this farm started. I got to decorate it, make it look all fancy pants, fancy pants and uh gets a lot more chickens in there without sacrificing howard the cluck to the chicken cooker of doom
Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button. And make sure you're following me on the Twitters and the Twitches. Of course, you know my name is Neil Crypter. Every, pretty much everywhere. So uh, it should be pretty easy to find. Follow me over there. And ooh, Zombert. Hello, Zombert. And until next time, guys, this is Neo. And I'll see you in game. Bye. Ha. 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 Ha.